Founder of Sirius, co-founder of Sirius Value Protection for homeowners struggling with their mortgage. There is an alternative to foreclosure. It's called a short sale. But it's kind of like ooh, two evil words. When a house is sold for its market value, which is less than what is actually owed on the mortgage, short sales are the latest in the government's efforts to help homeowners with a new program designed to speed up the process set to go into effect just next month. Joining us now to talk about short sales, Ellie Tenne is a real estate investor and managing partner of Peak Corporate Network. All right, Ellie, let's 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 break this down. Short sales, as I was just saying before, boy, that's uh, n two nasty words. Or are they? I mean, is this actually something that can benefit the seller, the buyer, people in the market? Unfortunately, it's bad words that should be changed because uh, government should uh, create certain incentives like they did with the clunkers to make this market uh, uh, going better. But in general, for the investor or for the uh, buyer, uh, it is good because in some cases you buy it a little bit lower than the market price value. Uh, for the lender, this is the real best solution because at the end of the day, everybody gets paid off. The investor, the lender, they're out of the game and that's what they really want. For the homeowner, it's a great solution because it gives them a chance for a fresh start, eventually uh, work on their credit and uh, hopefully buy a new residence eventually. Yes, but it's, it's not a win-win for the lender because the lender is taking less than what he is owed. It's, it's actually, you, you do the happy dance when you sell your house, sure, as a seller because, heck, I don't have to pay my mortgage and I'm out. So I could see where that's a positive. It's a negative on the bank side, though, because now the bank is writing down their assets, and then you worry about the whole financial system suffering because assets are being written down. Well, it depends what you compare it with, because if you compare it to REO, when the lender takes it back, they're going to lose another 20 or 30 percent. If you compare it to uh, the modification that is done today, uh, in most cases you can see that it doesn't really work. So the lenders end up not getting paid for a long period, and eventually it's going to go to foreclosure. So uh, if, if they need to be a cash out, a short sale is a much better solution for them than taking the property back and the uh, debatable uh, solution uh, in comparing to modification. Well, isn't, the lender. isn't there a concern about fraud here as well? I mean, about uh, you know, somebody getting in cahoots with somebody else. Look, I'll sell my home short, you buy it, what have you, and then you can flip it on the market. I mean, is there some concern about that? You have concern about it when it's REO as well. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. The bottom line is in today's, you have all the tools to make sure that you're selling a property for close to its market value, and that's what the lender needs to do. If they're doing their due diligence correctly, and then they don't allow that. Okay, so Ellie, quickly talk about the program that the government started in come April 5th. There are now some incentives. Basically, they're going to give the seller of the home $1,500 um, just to help them out. Do you think any of this is going to work? Well, I'm comparing this to other programs, and uh, they didn't work that right, much. Right, I know. Uh, that was any a loaded question, is... actually. I'm sorry. I threw you a softball. <laughs> any, any program is better than no program. But the question is, who is going to uh, be, who this program is good for? Remember that the government can only uh, make a decision for the Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac product, which is about maybe at most 30% of the market. So the conventional loans that come in with the securitized, they are not to pay, they don't have to go by this program. And in the past, they didn't. No, it's a good point, so, Ellie. It's short sales better than no sale, I guess. Thanks so I guess much. So. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much. Ellie Tenney, real estate investor and managing partner of Peak Corporate Network.